In this video, I'm going to solve the problem 30 years from chapter 26. A copper wire of cross-sectional area 2.4 multiplied 10 power minus 6 meter square and the length 4 meter has a current of 2 ampere uniformly distributed across that area. What is the magnitude of the electric field along the wire? And the second question is, how much electrical energy is transferred to thermal energy in 30 minutes? So here we have to answer for these two questions. In the first question, we are going to find the electric field along the wire. And the wire here they mention as a copper wire, its cross-sectional area mentioned as 2.4 multiplied 10 power minus 6. And its length is mentioned as 4 meter and the current in the copper wire is 2 ampere. By using this, we are going to find the electric field along the wire. That is our first question. In the second part, we are going to find how much energy is transferred as thermal energy in 30 minutes. So for the second question, we have to convert that 30 minutes in terms of seconds. Clear? Okay. Now I am going to write the given first and after that, we are going to solve one by one. Okay. So what is given in the question? So in this question, they give the information about the wire. The wire is a copper wire and its cross-sectional area is given. So the cross-sectional area of the copper wire is 2.4 multiply 10 power minus 6 meter square. And the length of the wire is 4 meter. And the current in the wire is 2 ampere. Clear? And also... We need the information about the electrical resistivity because this wire is a copper wire. So the resistivity of the copper value is 1.69 multiply 10 power minus 8 ohm meter because we need the information about this resistivity. Otherwise, we cannot be able to find the value of the electric field. So in this theory, we studied the formula related with electric field and the current density. What is the rule? The electric field E, which is equal to the resistivity multiplied by the current density. So here, we are going to use this formula for finding the electric field. But the most important thing, we need the information about the current density, which is not given in the question. But we can easily find the current density with the help of the current as well as with area because we studied the current density J which is equal to I over area. I is the current, A is the cross-sectional area. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to substitute this formula here by that this relation will modi is modified as rho multiply with current over area. Now I'm going to substitute the value for getting the answer for the first question. So now here I'm going to substitute the value. The resistivity of the copper wire is 1.69 multiply 10 power minus 8 and the current in the wire is 2 ampere over the cross section of the wire is 2.4 multiply 10 power minus 6. So here I got the answer of this electric field as E which is equal to 1.41 multiply 10 power minus 2 and the unit for the electric field is per meter. So this is the answer for the first question. Now we have to answer for the second question. In the second part, we are going to find the energy, electrical energy, how much electrical energy is transferred as thermal energy in 30 minutes. So what I'm going to do, before I calculate the energy value, we must convert this 30 minutes in terms of second. So let's we just start our second part. So for the second part, first what I'm going to do, I'm going to convert this 30 minutes in terms of second. So 30 minutes. In one minute, we have how many seconds? In one minute, we have 60 seconds, right? And here we can cancel minute with minute. And by that, we get the answer for 30 minutes as 3 multiplied by uh, 6 is 1800 second. That means 1800 seconds. Clear? So we are going to use this value for finding the answer for the second question. So here we are going to use the formula for power. Power which is equal to energy over time. Therefore, we are going to find the energy. Therefore, energy U which is equal to power multiplied by time. 
So the power information is not given, but the time we already have as 1800 seconds. So we have the time value. So this is our time value, but we have to calculate the power. So for that, I'm going to first find the power. So we know power P, which is equal to I square multiplied by R. The resistance value is not given so i am going to substitute this formula resistance r which is equal to rho multiplied by l over area so i am going to substitute this value by that this power formula will become i square multiplied by resistivity multiplied by length over area now we have all this value so it will be very easy for calculating the power once i calculate the power i am going to substitute the power in this equation so the current information is already given here as 2 ampere right so therefore 2 square multiplied by the resistivity of the copper wire is 1.69 multiplied 10 power minus 8 and the length of the wire they mentioned as 4 meter divided by the cross section of the wire is 2.4 multiply 10 power minus 6 now by calculating this we got the answer for the power here as 0.113 watt so now what i'm going to do i'm going to take this power value i'm going to substitute here and also we have the time information as 1800 seconds so by substituting this both power as well as the time we can easily find the energy value so now i'm going to substitute the value here so u which is equal to the power value is 0.113 multiplied by 1800 so here I got the energy answer, the energy value as 203.4 joules. Better we can just write the value in terms of power. Therefore, U, which is equal to 2.03 multiply 10 power 2 joules. So this is the answer for the second question. That's it. Thank you.